people, including ourselves, tend to say that everything is closed on Sundays in Germany. But I must confess that has been a lie. Oh, wow. So this video is an effort to correct that mistake and actually provide 10 examples of things you can actually do in Germany outside of your home that doesn't involve necessarily hiking, going to church or going for a walk. <laughs> hey, my name is Jen and I'm from Guatemala. And mine is Yvonne and I'm German. And together we're from SimpleGermany.com, where we create English content to empower internationals to settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. Now, first of all, Sundays in Germany is considered a quiet day, a rest day. In German, that means Ruhetag. And that actually means that legally it is not permitted to perform work or trade. That sounds a bit harsh, I would say. And it is not just any law, but it is really anchored in the basic German law. So in the Grundgesetz or the German constitution per se, in Article 140. Let oh. me read it out for you because it actually says, Sundays and state recognized public holidays remain legally protected as days of rest and spiritual uplift. Do you think the spiritual uplift is because you're expected to go to church on Sunday? Not expected, but you should have the chance to go, ah. the option, the okay. opportunity. The opportunity. Oh, that's interesting. Now, of course, there are exceptions to that law, and those are anchored in the Working Hours Act of the law of Germany. And those apply to, for example, bakeries, uh, of course, hospitals, public transportation, and other necessary infrastructure. Restaurants. Necessary infrastructure <laughs> and gastronomy and hotels, uh. which are, you know, necessary, but not necessary to survive, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> um, however, it is still very important that the Sunday should never be um, like considered as a regular working day, mm. meaning no employee can be put to work every Sunday. A minimum of 15 Sundays need to be off throughout the year. And if you have to work on a Sunday, you need to get a lieu day off in, um, like in, in replacement. And ideally, you take that in the following week. So let's talk about the 10 things you can do on Sundays in Germany outside of your home, which is not just going for a walk, which is one of the most favorite German activities. <laughs> so thing number one, it's going to the theater. I think we should don't do this enough. We should probably make an effort to go more often. Very true. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it depends a little bit on where you live, that there is a local theater in town. And ideally, maybe even an English speaking one. However, theater doesn't really just have to be like theater, like theater per se in German, but it could also be anything else like entertainment in terms of a you musical. could go to the opera, mm. a musical. Like we went to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, yeah. no, Rocky Horror Show, yeah. and that was in English, for example. Um, maybe even you could go to um, like, a, like a, an orchestra or a musical recital, mm. anything in that sense culturally uh, indulging. Yes, and if you're lucky enough, for example, in Dusseldorf, there's one English speaking theater that you can go to. So maybe also in your city, there's even theater place in English. Yeah. Thing number two is going to the movies. Yay, we actually have an in-depth video about going to the movies <laughs> where Jen rants a little bit about her experience, you know. Like the um, <laughs> <laughs> However, of course, movie theaters are open and funny enough, well, I don't know if it's funny enough, but it's not. The, <laughs> the movie theater closest to our home only on Sundays actually plays movies in OV, meaning in the original version, meaning mainly in English if we are going for that language. Yes. So yeah, you can watch that video and then have a little bit more of an idea what going to the movies in Germany it's like. But that will be a typical Sunday activity. Yes, totally. Thing number three is to go to amusement parks. You heard that, right? Germany actually has a few amusement parks, which is still on my to-do list because someone in this room does not like amusement parks at all. So one of the most popular one is Europa Park, which, I mean, if you live in the area, you can go on a Sunday. Here in the NRW or Rheinland, uh, the most popular one, or one of the most popular ones, before I get into any trouble, <laughs> is Fantasialand. And the one thing we went to Fantasialand for once were for a, a musical show. or an evening news show. But I'm still planning to go to that uh, amusement park. But those are also open on Sundays. Yes, and the amusement park in Germany would be Freizeit Park. Number four is you could go work out, meaning gyms are open, you can also go swimming, public pools are open, or any other sports venue per se, whether it's like a tennis club or like a general um, sports hall where you can play badminton or volleyball, anything of that sort should be Climbing. open. Climbing, bouldering, bouldering. Literally any sport really uh, is open on Sundays. 
Number five is to go out for a meal. That could include breakfast, uh, lunch or dinner, or the very famous German brunch. Actually, I think Germans, I don't have statistics for this, unfortunately, but I have a feeling that Germans love to go out for brunch um, and it's very delicious most of the time. And the one thing that also it's open for you to buy, of course, uh, Sunday mornings only, it's for you to be able to buy your Brotchen. Did I say that right? You said that almost right. Oh, almost right. <laughs> the umlaut is always a problem. <laughs> Anyways, your bread rolls for your German breakfast. <laughs> yes. In the brunch, I would uh, emphasize it's particularly a Sunday thing. Yes. Like we would never go on a brunch during the week. Or a Maybe Saturday. Maybe a Saturday, but Sundays mainly. Yeah. You can also go out and buy flowers or plants as most garden centers are also open on Sundays. And we took advantage of that and it was actually quite cool. Yes, I found out about this actually through co-workers because I'm like, what did you do on Sundays? Oh, we went to buy plants. I'm like, what? You're able to go buy plants? It's like, yeah, the garden center is open on Sundays, Jen. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's definitely, if you're looking for plants or flowers, definitely a nice activity to do. Number seven, please bear in mind, the number on the list is not necessarily the most popular thing to do because I would consider this might be one of the most popular things Random to do order. in Germany. Yeah, it's to actually go to the sauna or a wellness center. Those are also open on Sundays. We have a whole video talking about the sauna and the etiquette of going to the sauna in Germany, which you can also check out there. <laughs> um, and definitely, I would say that's also one of our favorite activities, no? Especially yeah. in winter. Definitely, yes, yeah. Number eight is another cultural event, and that would be going to a museum. And that could be really any type of museum, whether it's art, whether it's modern architecture or whatever is <laughs> in your city, or maybe also time to visit another city. Um, that is also a very good activity for a Sunday. Yes, even some cities, depending on the museum, on Sundays or even on the weekends generally, they have free entrances. Let's say the first Sunday of the month or the first mm. Sunday every three months or something like that. So if you're into museums, that's definitely worth checking out. Number nine, another beloved activity in Germany is to go to the flea markets or in German called Flohmarkt. Marked. But not flow, like flowing. I like to make that joke a lot, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't know, Can I mean, it's a flea market, so it depends on the city, how big the flea market is, and you can just go there and spend some time. Cool thing is that also in the flea markets, I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Germany, the ones that we have visited, there's usually also live music and, uh, food, and food trucks yeah. and, and stuff. So it's not just for shopping, let's say, but also for entertainment in a way. And number 10 is actually one of my favorite, and I hope that we can help you learn something new with that. <laughs> because I have not heard very many people talk about this yet. <gasps> and that no, is the Verkaufsoffener Sonntag. <laughs> Meaning you can actually go shopping, like actual retail stores are open on Sundays. Yeah. On, and let's translate that into English, Verkaufsoffener Sonntag means Sundays open for sales. And this is also anchored in the law that up to four Sundays each year pretty much shops are allowed to open however this is like the generalization for all of germany each state and each municipality or city actually do their own rules and have their own um let's say stricter or less strict uh, interpretations of that law <laughs> why am i saying it in such a like weird way is because um states like berlin and nrv tend to be a little bit more open-minded and let's say sales driven or consumer friendly in that sense and actually allow up to eight or um open Sunday is open for sales, verkaufs of na Sonntag, um, throughout the year. Now, the law also states usually they should not fall into December. However, Berlin says we particularly, particularly open two Sundays in December, in the Advent, to kind of like push the Christmas sales, of I would course, say. Of course, yeah. Um, however, they, a lot of states also restrict them to fall onto, let's say, the Easter Sunday or the Pentecost Sunday. So like more religiously associated Sundays, um, those can never be open. That is super interesting. Also, another uh, thing to point out is that in Dusseldorf, for example, when a Sunday is this for cows, I cannot say that. You I'm can. I'm pretend it. I don't even know the word, to be honest. Verkaufs offen. Verkaufs offenen Sonntag um, in Dusseldorf is by neighborhood. So it's not like this Sunday everything is open in the city. It's pretty much every neighborhood gets a Sunday, so to speak. So one Sunday could be the one in our neighborhood, the other one in the city center, and so on. So that's actually super interesting. I think I found that uh, about that actually because I saw a, a pamphlet flyer. or a flyer yeah. where they were promoting that Sunday shops are open. I was like, what? I thought this was not allowed. And and if there's a Verkaufs of Sonntag, shops are usually open from one until six, so not the entire day, and particularly only starting at one. So one can still go to church in the morning and it doesn't um, kind of like interfere with the shopping spree. 
And what's super interesting, additional to that, the fact that you shared with me, is that if a city, it's a Kua or a Erholungsort, which is a spa and wellness town. Recovery town, Recovery yeah. town, which, by the way, some cities actually have that label Not in Germany. Not some, a lot of them. A lot. Especially around the northern coast of Germany, mm. or whenever you have like hot springs in Bad Salzuflen, or also I know in, um, in Baden-Württemberg, there are some Kurorte. Uh, mm. Baden-Baden, I think, is a Kurort. So it's quite... Um, Spread out. Yeah, we should make maybe do a video about the whole, the whole Kua culture because I find that super interesting. But what I wanted to say is that here there's exceptions to the Sunday rule, yes, right? Big exceptions. Because if cities or towns carry that label, they are allowed to open shops up to 40 Sundays in a year. That is crazy. That's pretty much that's like pretty the much whole year. almost every Sunday. Yeah, that's super crazy. Yeah, because those are usually also touristic towns. And obviously, you know, if you only go there for a short recreation time, Sunday is like they don't want to lose the business on that day, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know, but that's that was very insightful for me as well. Yeah. After these 10 examples of things you can actually do on Sundays in Germany, that just leaves to say and to point out that the only thing really closed on Sundays are retail shops, in the majority, if it's not a Fakaus of Sonntag, <laughs> supermarkets, um, service industries, except for gastronomy and hotels. Now, as a super hot tip, if you absolutely need to do grocery shopping on a Sunday because you probably forgot or didn't have time to do it over the weekend, then if you live close to an airport or a big central station, most likely there will be a grocery store within those uh, uh, how do you say these buildings that are open during Sunday. So that's a super hot tip. Sometimes we go to the Dusseldorf airport to do our grocery shopping there. I mean, it's been exceptional in emergencies. And mainly if we land on a Sunday morning. Yes, and that has been super helpful. If you're curious about 10 other weird things Germans do, make sure to check out our video, literally called 10 things, 10 weird things Germans do, which you can check out here. Until next time, cheers! Yes, and the amusement park in German would be Freizeitpark. Hmm. Not FKK Park. <laughs> they are allowed to open up to, I didn't know, 40. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs>